Hi all, yesterday I taught you about the basic rules how to draw ray diagrams for a concave mirror and the points to be remembered to draw the diagrams for concave, ray diagrams for the concave mirror. So let us start doing in the first case if the object is at infinity. What we need to do first draw the principal axis. A concave mirror and it should be coated on the other side cave side will be concave mirror now coming to the rays a point should be there focus then center of curvature then in this aperture you think it as M N. an incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis reflects through the focus that is rule 1 and incident ray passing through the focus reflects parallel to the principal axis ok so now after drawing this you can draw the object which is at infinity AB. You can use easy tricks as you know how to draw the diagram. Easily you can use easy tricks. A line parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus and a line passing through the focus will reflect back parallel to the principal axis. Okay, so where is the image formed? When the object is at infinity AB, the image is formed at the focus. This is case 1. Okay. Draw along with me keeping your notebooks ready so that you can enjoy and learn together. Now coming to the next diagram. Again draw principal axis same method. Again draw concave mirror. Then coat it on the other side. Again pole. Focus center of curvature now the next case will be when the object is at C see for this object is at C um, you just learn some tricks take both arrows equally ok object and the image will be same so take it and put a cross like this easily you can draw from the now what you do is join these lines so cheating trick but you will get full marks a line parallel to the principal axis ray parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus and which is passing through the focus light rays which is passing through the focus will be parallel to the principal axis using rule 1 and 3 we have drawn the second diagram when the object is at C the image will also form at C but the image will be inverted so if it is AB it will be B dash A dash. Okay. Here we cannot see the image. It is point sized on the focus. Okay. Easily this way you can draw the diagram for at C. Next. If the object is beyond C. See I am drawing it here. To tell you the difference between infinity and beyond C. Same focus center of curvature. One thing I want to make you make clear what is the difference between infinity and beyond C. Many children get uh, doubt what is the difference between it. 
so in case of infinity for example if this is a spherical mirror a part is a concave mirror as i told you in the previous class so if it is beyond that uh, spherical glass uh, sphere if you think if it is complete circle if it is beyond it then we are calling it as infinity no need to show that much difference in the diagram but just for clarity i am telling you what is the difference between infinity and beyond c and uh, in within the uh, glass sphere wherever after c we call it as beyond c now next thing is we have to draw the object over here and we are labeling it as every aperture as mn everywhere uh, drawing it as a b the next thing is we are using for the first time our rule 2 that means when a light ray passes from center of curvature what happens to the light ray as it will be perpendicular to the aperture so the light ray will reflect back this is also a normal line i told you yesterday i explained about it previous video please check it if you have not now we are going to use our rule 1 when the light ray passes parallel to the principal axis it reflects back through the focus let us see what happens now so this is the focus yeah so here you are getting the image a dash b dash inverted image so we have completed see how a b c all three diagrams finished now coming to the fourth one if the object is between c and f again draw the principal axis again draw the concave mirror coat it on the other side again we have pole then we have focus then what is the next yes you are right it is center of curvature now the object is between center of curvature and focus between c and f one trick here you have to understand is the object should be always smaller one then only you will get a perfect diagram see first what you do is draw the image because when the object is between c and f it is uh, it is smaller and the image is larger okay a dash b dash is enlarged image so you have to keep this in mind for this type of diagrams if you want to use all the measurements and draw it will be a difficult task for you so i am telling you the easiest and the best method so that you can score marks in the exam don't forget to put the arrow marks while drawing and this object is a b now rule one what is that yes parallel then it passes through the focus now easily we can draw a line where it meets near the image where these two rays meet we are drawing the image so this way you can easily draw the fourth diagram okay keep in mind that the object size should be smaller if you see in your textbook also compared to the other diagrams in this diagram the object size is drawn smaller so that easily we can draw the image which looks larger than that of the object mn now coming to our fifth diagram slowly see how you have learnt all the diagrams nicely yeah so what will be the next case if the object is at the focus very very easy very very easily you can do this so pole we have focus again we have center of curvature so now the object is at the focus so here also make it small 
because we will use our uh, center of curvature for drawing a ray from here right so as usual as we have done for the others do it same for this now parallel same like previous one only but the, here the rays meet here the rays don't meet because when the object is fo at the focus the image will form at infinity the symbol means infinity only okay so mn don't forget last one but this is the special one till now we are using only the front part now even we will use the back part of the mirror right just like a plane mirror in plane mirror how a virtual image is formed when we are standing in front of the mirror in this case also a virtual image is formed that is the reason we are using the back side of the mirror now the object when it is between pole and the focus this is the case so what rays we need to use special rays first we will mark as usual c center of curvature for this now the next case is our fourth rule which we didn't use it till now which is rarely used when the diagonal light ray touches the mirror it reflects back at the same angle same rule loss of reflection angle of incident is equal to angle of uh, reflection that rule as previous video i explained that uh, law you have to use here then what you need to do very 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 simple just extend these lines nicely extend them they will meet at a point now come on draw your image you can keep it dotted so that it looks virtual i have combined it so this is the object ab so with this we have finished all the ray diagrams for concave mirror so based on this you can explain what type of image it is okay in the first case it is very diminished image right point sized image when the object is at uh, infinity the image will be diminished and point point sized when in the case if it is uh, beyond c then what happens the uh, image will be inverted and diminished okay not a point sized but diminished in both cases real and inverted only here real and inverted here real and inverted now when the object is kept at c what happens again it forms real and inverted image size is same same as that of the object now coming to this case what happens here when the object is between c and f the image will be enlarged and inverted so it is real and inverted next here if the object is at f so the image will be at infinity so we can't find it uh, somewhere at the infinity now see here the last case when the object is kept between f and p what happens similar to our plane mirror it's a virtual image like how you stand if in front of a plane mirror you can see your uh, image but the difference here is it is larger than the object okay so in our next class my next video i will discuss about the convex mirror as only two images will be there i will discuss about uh, few more points about the images what type of images are formed and some tricks okay please do comment in the comment section so that i can make better videos for you all